Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cargo's channel and before we start today's video I just want to sadly say that we're not going to be announcing the new car today because I took it for a test drive and alternator broke so next time I'm going to take it out of the garage is to bring it to the mechanic so I can check it out and replace the alternator also announce the car at that video and then make a video about everything that's wrong with the car which is quite a lot but till then let me tease you with uh, saying that it's a 500 horsepower capable uh, supercharged V8 in a two-door coupe with quite an advanced hydraulic suspension uh, I'll let you guess what it is down in the comment section below now also in the previous video I announced a giveaway and the winner of that giveaway would be Marco D'Angelo uh, Marco contact me on Instagram so I can tell you um, how to get your organizer or how I'm gonna ship it or you can pick it up from me um, he's the winner and we are not doing a poll because he's the only person commented thank you guys uh, my sad little YouTube channel you know um, that's about it you know what let's continue with today's video bye also shout out to the security guard who just came to check on me Borgata you roll quite secure parking garage Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cargo's channel. Today we're gonna do some maintenance on Slate. Now when I turn the AC on and off, uh, the air smells a little bit like oil and I have a few oil leaks underneath the hood. And let me just show you real quick if I could open this hood with one hand because... So, the engine's running so it may be a bit noisy but this oil filter housing is leaking and then I have another leak in the back where the oil separator is now you can't see much from over here but we're gonna go get it to the mechanic and while we're changing the oil we're gonna address those two issues and see if uh, it stops uh, leaking oil uh, it doesn't leak it doesn't leak a ton but it's annoying and it smells in the car when I have the AC on and it's winter so I need the AC. Now, uh, we're gonna, well, let's go to the mechanic and see what the situation is. Okay, it is another day, but we got to the mechanic shop. Car dent is right there. Uh, we're gonna, well, yeah, you notice it's not, so uh, we're gonna have to lift the car up and do all the things we mentioned before. The clamp on the exhaust, uh, oil caps and separator, uh, the, oil housing, filter, gasket, and change the oil in general. Let's lift it up. So we started by stripping down the air boxes from the engine and we're looking for parts in there. How's the oil? Good? Oil is ready to change. Ready to change, right? It, I added a little bit because it leaked. It was asking. Yeah. It was asking. So while the oil is draining over there, I want to show you the this little clamp right here that corroded and it's uh, the exhaust is leaking so it has a different sound to the car. It's not as quiet as usual. I mean, we like loud but this is not good and we're gonna change it see this little bolt corroded and snapped right there so i got a brand new fresh one of these uh, let me show you actually there it is mercedes benz part 00490124128 whatever if you ever need that i bought this from fcp euro and that is gonna go right there yeah same part 
All right, let's continue with the rest of the stuff. Let me actually show you what I had, what I got. Oil, of course. I always use Zero W40 European Car Formula. A man filter. It's important. These are really good. They're meant for your Mercedes Benz. These are the oil caps in the back of the engine because it's leaking from there too. Um, hmm. All right, oil separator and another cap. This right here is the oil filter housing gasket. Uh, I really don't know how this is gonna work, but instead of changing the whole unit, which is $120 on FCP Euro, uh, and they have free shipping, by the way, on orders over 50 bucks. Uh, instead of that, we bought this six, seven dollar part, eight, nine, whatever, I don't remember the exact price, but we're gonna uh, try and rebuild the oil filter housing. So, yeah, let's go ahead and continue with the build. All right, I bought the boys some coffee, and this is just coffee, it's actually really expensive. And what we're doing now is uh, we are taking some of the coolant out because well because I don't know that's what the car dentist told me that we gotta take some of the coolant out so we can access the uh, oil filter housing and take it off I'm pretty sure you can't see anything up there because it's dark but we're taking a little bit out anyway we're continuing on with is it hard to take? Oh, you have to take the belt take to the, take the. Oh yes. my goodness! You gotta take the thermostat. For one screw, can I come out? That's it. It's a tough job, no? It is a tough job. Tough china grafch. Tough china grafch. Yes, but. Okay. So we took the oil filter housing and there is a lot of corrosion over here that uh, we actually we broke a thermostat on the coolant and actually this is let me turn the flashlight of my phone on everything in here is pretty bad because of the oil leak and the little coolant leak right here uh, yep uh, the engine is not in a great shape, but we're gonna clean as much as we can and uh, We're gonna put it back together in well after we try to rebuild the oil filter housing Keep watching All right, so we have the oil housing here and we took this gasket off which is this square thingy But mine doesn't look like it. So mine is from the one I ordered from FCP Euro is the gasket that goes oh on this side right here I don't know if you guys can see it, hold on, let me turn it towards so this is the gasket I ordered, it's also leaking, I can see the oil residue right here but this is the one I'm missing so now we gotta order one of these before we put everything together and while we're doing this the car dentist here is changing the oil caps in the back of the engine which are yeah one little thing right there those get dried over time and they start leaking so there is this one right here on this side. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's not a how-to video. I'm just showing you what I'm doing today. We're also cleaning up the engine real nice because it had a lot of coolant residue from leaks and some oil residue. Here is the other cap right on this side right here. Uh, and there is one bigger one, which is the oil separator, which is right down here. It's it's not impossible to reach but it is not the easiest thing you just you gotta take them out because it's tight space and just put the other one back in here is the oil separator we're gonna put the car up while we're waiting for the oil filter gaskets and we're gonna change that little clamp that i showed you earlier please don't cry this is the guy huh? Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. I have a little bit of exhaust leak over there. Maybe yes. it gives me a nice sound. Like in a... Okay, so we got the exact pieces that we needed. This clearly wasn't one because it's not exactly the same like the other one. So 
I'm gonna have to return this to FCP Euro with some other stuff. And I believe that's the the way um, they're, they're pretty good FCP Euro with return, so I doubt that I'm gonna have trouble with it. Alright, let's continue and rebuild this thing with those gaskets right there. The car dentist replaced the gaskets and now here we go this is the new gasket right here now we're gonna install the bolt on the cooler this is for the cooler no? yes. and we're gonna put this piece back inside the engine bay and rock and roll baby rock and roll This is the new thermostat, it goes in there, but I don't know what I'm doing, so we're gonna leave it to the professionals to do it. Pro very professional, no? Which one goes first, the Joker. oil housing? Oil housing. Okay, it's like magic. <laughs> So once we get inside the engine, we figure out a few more things are, excuse my French, effed up. So this is the tensioner for the belt and it's pretty bad. It makes noises when you rotate this. I won't touch it because it's dirty now and I just wash my hands. But uh, look at all the grime on it from all the oil leak that was before. And this is the new piece that we just ordered. So this is going to replace this in there also this right here is another pulley that we need to change here is the new piece i like new car parts rotated no noise no nothing nice and smooth beautiful so these two are gonna replace that and that and we're gonna start buttoning up everything together also here is the new uh thermostat and the rebuild oil filter housing we already put the oil filter then we just have to add oil in a little bit uh, let's keep going all right the new pulley is in the tensioner is in thermostats in we have to modify this wire for the thermostat to focus because um, the other one broke from the corrosion from the antifreeze leak so yeah let's see if this works now Pan is going back in so we filled up the oil right here uh, to fill up the antifreeze coolant and everything seems to be working fine the only thing we need to do is fit the air box back on and we should be good to go with this car all right so we did all the maintenance we pulled the car out everything's working fine there are no fault codes uh antifreeze oil uh everything is changed pulleys and stuff like that uh it costed a bit of money but uh it's all good you guys need to maintain your cars and if you did like today's video you gotta smash that like button and also subscribe for a lot more videos to come a lot more maintenance car events and car reviews um subscribe to the cargo channel i'll see you in the next video bye